Welcome back to Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Over the last couple of months, we've seen the devastating damage Mother Nature can do when the weather conditions spark wildfires. And for producers in Oklahoma, the past several years have been an ongoing struggle as drought has been a near constant enemy, reducing forage and hay production. Brian Baxter brings us the story of one Oklahoma veterinarian and cattleman who is doing his best to survive challenging times. There's no doubt Justin McCrary is one busy guy. He runs his own veterinary hospital and he tends his own farming and cattle operation in West Central Oklahoma. I've been a veterinarian for the last 22 years, graduated from vet school in 1995. Uh, shortly thereafter, I took over my uncle's farming and uh, ranching business. It was a small operation and uh, after his passing, I uh, purchased it from the estate. I have a cow-calf operation, on average about 150 head of cows. I raise uh, some small grains for hay and grazing. I have a little bit of alfalfa, uh, improved in native grasses uh, for pasture. As a full-time veterinarian, Justin has watched his fellow cattle producers in Oklahoma endure difficult times the past several years. Some of the challenges we've had in this area over the past years, is we've had some severe drought. We've been drought stricken. Uh, a lot of my, my customers from the veterinary clinic, as well as myself, we had to sell down our cows and our cow numbers. Uh, we're working on rebuilding those numbers back to where we were prior and where we want to be in the future. In fact, in much of the Southern Plains, getting any kind of forage or hay put up these past few years has been a challenge. So during those drought years, uh, hay quality was uh, average at best and uh, quantity was below normal so we really we struggled to find a good source of nutrition for our cows that we had remaining uh, selling down those numbers and keeping the the pastures stocked appropriately for drought conditions helped us get through those times without having the extra amount of hay that we really needed even with these challenges justin like so many of his fellow cattle producers is committed to staying in the business and working with the best equipment to put up all the hay they can. I could probably buy hay cheaper, but I don't know what the TDN, what the protein levels of those hay are going to be. I'd rather have my own equipment, manage my forage the way I want it managed, and put up the hay that I want to put up in the times that it needs to be put up. My John Deere equipment has been there for me. I'm a busy, busy person. At the end of the day, I want to be able to get in my piece of equipment, whether it's a wind rower or a tractor or a skid loader, and I want to be, have it there so I can rely on it. When it comes to equipment you can rely on, Justin found a winner in his John Deere tractor. I've got a uh, 6140R tractor, uh, just perfect size and horsepower for my midsize operation. I use it for uh, raking hay, baling hay, uh, do some dirt work with it. A lot of uh, stacking and hauling hay. We use, uh, use that tractor to load and haul hay with. It's a very comfortable, comfortable tractor to use. At the end of the day, after a long day at the vet clinic, it's nice to get into a piece of equipment that, that rides smooth, it's comfortable. It's like driving a, a vehicle rather than a, a tractor. Uh, and that's very important to me, especially if I'm gonna have a long evening on a tractor in the hay field. The field cruise option on that tractor is, uh, is excellent. You don't have to adjust your RPMs to match your bailing speed. Set it, set the RPM to where you want it, and go. It stays at that RPM no matter what kind of wind rows you're in, heavy hay, light hay, uh, excellent fuel uh, saver to have that um, field cruise option. Another outstanding feature on this tractor is called the JD Link. JD Link or John Deere Link is a, uh, it's a great uh, communication tool from the from the tractor to the uh, dealer to myself we can look at that information and we can look at fuel usage codes that the computer might be throwing we can also locate that tractor uh, if it's been stolen which my tractor and Baylor were stolen and we use JD link to recover that tractor and Baylor uh, we found it uh, over 50 miles away from where it was at when I left it uh, we found that tractor in less than 30 minutes and as is true for cattle producers who are growing their own hay, when it's time to be in the field, they need to know they can count on their John Deere dealer to be there with whatever they need. The service side of it, just, uh, we're always there. We can bring you parts, bring you wrap, 
We actually have a 569 of our own that we run, so I'm very familiar with it. You guys can call me with questions and I can usually walk them through it. And if I can't, we've got a excellent hay man at Weatherford that uh, will sure get them up and running. Western Equipment's been for, been there for me uh, uh, through some tough times and, and some really good times. Um, whether I need service, parts, uh, if I need to talk to a sales guy, one phone call, even after hours, I can get a hold of my salesman after hours. And uh, they've been really good to me, always there for me. They know they can call me anytime, day or night. Uh, I'll, I've always answered the phone and, and walk them through it or help them out and get them back going. Uh, more than one occasion, I've took parts out of my own operation to get somebody going in the middle of the night that was broke down trying to beat a rain. And we do what we have to do to get them going. In Oklahoma, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. If you'd like to learn more about the full line of John Deere tractors and hay equipment, head to your local John Deere dealer or visit the website johndeere.com.